So here's a little status update on our Bluetooth controller project. Well, universal controller project. Say hi to Kiwi. Hello. So right now it's plugged into a Nintendo GameCube with a pass-through cable. Yeah, get down. Get down. Get down. Okay. And input is working as expected. All the buttons work. Now the cool thing is this is battery operated. So if I unplug this, uh, the controller will reboot. And if it doesn't detect a cable, it'll go into wireless mode. If you come over here, you can see it's connected now to this Nintendo Switch. And that's all working great. And then even more than that, even better than that, I can plug this into a Nintendo Switch directly with USB. So I can plug this in. The controller will reboot and it'll go into USB mode. And there we go. Now I can see USB. This also works with SNES, a similar way with the pass-through cable. So that's the work in progress for now. Um, everything seems to be working pretty well. Uh, the, I'm, I still need to work out a couple things, like how I want to handle charging notifications. Um, I'm, I may end up disabling the charging feature if you're if you're plugged into a SNES or GameCube, it detects that because the power draw on those systems is going to be you're you're going to want less power draw from the controller on those systems in those circumstances. So maybe just over USB connections and charge connections and this you know this works on android phones as well um i think i'll configure it so you'll be able to you'll be able to tell uh, what bluetooth mode you're in because there's going to be a, a default one as well as nintendo switch um this is where things are at right now this is playable um we're looking at about 40 milliamps nominal power draw in, in bluetooth mode um and at 400 Sorry, 540 milliamp hour lithium po uh, polymer battery. So pretty decent battery life um, in theory. So we'll have to give it some tests and see how it goes. All right, thanks for checking this out. Say bye.